Hello, and in today's video, I am going to redesign the Mon more the Monster High dolls. I was about to say girls, but they're not all girls, so dolls. I had a lot of fun with the last video, so I thought I'd continue. Mostly because I did do it about a year ago, but I didn't put really my effort into it, so I wanted to try it again. Or no, it was more like two years ago. Anyway, I wanted to try it again. I already did Frankie and and Draculaura. If you want to see those designs, they're in my last video. If you like this video, you should subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, you should comment. Tell me what doll did dolls to do next. I wasn't really into dolls when I was a kid. The closest I got was like, apparently I like My Little Pony a lot. I don't even remember liking My Little Pony that much. I just mainly remember liking Littlest Pet Shop. Uh, which I might, I might, I might do some Littlest Pet Shop stuff. Um, but after the first one I did out of these next two, I did Claudine Wolf. So for her, when I read her description, she she's a fashion, she wants to be a fashion designer. So I gave her a little sketchbook that has fashion designs in it and I wanted her outfit to be tr trendy in a way. I didn't want it to be like super, I wanted, I don't know how to explain it, but the vision was like what a lot of, not the girliest fashion forward outfit because I saved that for somebody else, but still pretty, like I wanted it to be like in a subculture, not like a subculture, but I, I don't know how to explain it other than Y2K. I wanted it to be like that aesthetic in a way because I think it fits with the fashion designers because a lot of it is assessing fashion from the past and bringing it to now that's the whole y2k fashion thing and i thought it would work very well with that hoping to be a fashion designer and yeah i so the outfit i found that i really liked it was a baggy it was a baggy hoodie with some baggy pants i believe uh i gave her a little paw necklace because i think that's just cute Obviously a ta obviously a crop top because those are like in really in trend right now and it had a little bit of lacy bits on it or not lacy but a bow I, just because I thought it like added a little bit visual because this is, these fashion dolls tend to be like have extra extra shit on them to add, like extra bows and like all that stuff that you wouldn't put in a visual design because it'd get too cluttered but I added it to it because I wanted it to be a doll. I also wanted to give her goddess braids because I think it'd be really pretty. So that's what I did for her hair. For the belt, I wanted it to be the a Monster High has always been a little bit more race, not racy. They've always like when the dolls first came out, people were freaking out because they were wearing short skirts and there was like fish netting on the skirts and people were freaking out because of that. And but so I wanted to like lean into that a little bit more and have her have Claudine have. You know that trend where people like, like people were like, oh, it's so cool to have like the thong strings going through the like pants. I did that and I added a little paw print to the underwear thing. Uh, I thought that was like really cute. I also made it low rise because there's been a, a trend-ish. I would call it, like I still see it more, but I only really see it on paper thin people. Where they wear low rise jeans, baggy low rise. So I wanted to encapsulate that trend. Um, I also decided instead of giving her shoes, I wanted to make her more werewolf-y. So she has a tail now. She also has a little puppy nose and um, she, has uh, she has actual werewolf feet. Just to add in that fact that she's a werewolf. I also gave her glasses because you can be hot in a fashionista and be smart and have glasses. Hot people can have glasses. People who are fashion forward can't have glasses. It can't just, it does not have to be just one or the other. What they did <laughs> when in the new one where they just made Claudine smart instead of smart and hot. Come on. Like, we can have both. Like, you can be both. Like, I we're in the year of 2024. You can be both visually attractive and smart and nerdy. Those things can coexist at the same time. And I think the nuance of just not having it it bothers me because we can have that like that you that can be a thing sorry that just turned into a rant so on the side i added her werewolf form because she didn't she was born i think from two like a werewolf or something or like one werewolf parent 
I read the wiki, it's just been like six days. Uh, and then for her colors, I wanted to keep the purple. I toned it down just a little bit, but I wanted to make sure she was still purple because purple is an amazing color. I also think it went really well with the fur color I chose. Because also in this version, she's covered in a light peach fuzz because she's a werewolf. She w she has to be fuzzy. Like, that's the whole thing with being, it's being fuzzy. You, if you're a werewolf, you're like a fluffy little thing. Like, obviously she'd have a full human form where she isn't fluffy, but I think 90% of the time, she would be like in this, at least a little bit more out, if that makes sense. Because I feel like, if I'm a creature that can transform, I feel like it's more comfortable to be in like the more natural form for a werewolf, which is the wolf. So I wanted her to look like a wolf more because it would be more comfortable anyway or at least in my mind and in her notebook i added in some fashion sketches i just traced over some of the like default dresses from the ibs paint asset store but yeah this is claudine i really like the way she turned out i think she's like perfect mix of like girly and nerdy really nice i'm really happy with how she turned out i'm i really think and I also really like her glasses because, like I said, you can wear glasses and be attractive. You can wear glasses and be smart and attractive. You can be all of those things. Like, that, and for a fashion doll, like, you can be all of those things. Okay, I need to stop before I turn into a broken record. So, yeah, the next one I did, I did Cleo Denial. I didn't put their last names on here, mostly because... I couldn't fit everybody's last name, and so even though a lot of them have really short first names, some of them, like Draculaura, I would not be able to fit her first and last name on there, so you just get their first names. For Cleo, I wanted Cleo to be a, a more short statured. I also read in the wiki that Cleo is more of like a queen bee type, so I wanted to make sure she screamed, I am preppy, so I didn't... I took what I would have done with Claudine's outfit if I didn't know that information and basically put it on her. For all my outfit ideas, I looked on Pinterest, obviously. But for this one, I looked up preppy outfits specifically. And for Claudine's, I looked up cool outfits. But for her, I wanted her to look really preppy. I found this top, this sweater top. I guess it's still it's Y2K-E-ish. But I thought it'd be really cool. Cause it's like a sweater with like an under part that comes up i think it looked to me it looked very cheerleadery and so i gave it to her like i swear to god i think i've seen girls when i went to high school wear that top so i gave it to her and then i gave her baggy jeans with a shoelace tie because that's also i don't know if it's still a thing but in high school when i was in high school oh god i'm i'm freaking turning into geriatric i went to high school two years ago anyway Back two years ago, there were girls doing this, so I'm just going off of that. For her phone, a lot of girls, like I said, would, would, from two years ago, <laughs> would also put pictures in the back of a clear phone case. I also gave her a blue phone case phone, because I think she'd have a blue phone. That's just like a <laughs> weird headcanon for me. I also think she'd be like a big skincare girly, like all like the shit that like teenage girls are really into, she would be really into. She is a mummy, so I did give her like bandages. Uh, most of her body's covered in bandages. As you can see, I used I did ripped jeans to show off the bandages and the bandages on her neck. She also has some damage on her face. Just again to show that yes, she is indeed a mummy. I also made sure that she looked Middle Eastern because apparently when I was drawing this and one of my friends was like, "Don't make her white." And I was like, "Why would I make her white?" And she was like, "Or it's it's apparently some people make her white. Why? She's not the white pharaoh? I don't know. <laughs> For her color palette, I meant I mostly went with blues because that's her original color palette is mostly blues. I gave her these like black and blue like eyes, like this the white part being black and then her eyes being this bright blue. Um, I think it looks like it looks undead to me. So I think it makes her look really pretty. I kept her hair, like that long black hair. I gave her a Hime cut, mostly because I think it's, it's not like the, it's, it's a little alternative, but also like I could see it being on somebody with straight, really straight long black hair and it looking really good. And I think she'd be like, I'm going to do this because it looks really good. 
and I gave her tinsel hair instead of like, that normal highlights. It looks like normal highlights, but I add sparklies to it to make sure it looks like tinsel because it's supposed to be tinsel because there's that thing where you can put tinsel in your hair nowadays, which is really cool. I want to do that to my hair, but I don't know how. So for that, yeah, uh, and then I gave her white bands because I see a lot of girls wearing white bands. The next thing I did was, the next thing I did is I started coloring everything else. Fun fact, I finished coloring the sarcophagus today because I stopped on Wednesday and was like, I don't want to color that and I <laughs> didn't color it till today. So for her phone, like I said, I wanted it to be a baby blue and I thought it'd be cute if it was like a selfie, a little selfie of her in front of the Egyptian, Egyptian pyramid. Look at me in 2024, baby! That's, so that's what I did. I made it less detailed so it looked like, like a picture because I wasn't gonna, I'm sorry, I wasn't gonna draw a full portrait again. The next thing I did is I added her makeup again because I think she'd be a skincare girly because that's what all the, all the kids nowadays, I hate myself, are obsessed with and makeup and I think she would, I think she would use three different types of eyeliner. There's the Middle Eastern eyeliner, I think it's called Kong. It's where it's like this stick, and it's really cool actually. And you put it in your eye, but I also think she would wing the crap out of it with a pencil eyeliner. <laughs> she needs a shit ton of mascara. <laughs> I think that girl wants to accentuate her eyeballs. Okay, I think Cleo would accentuate her eyes a lot. I don't really put heavy makeup in on my art style, but I also think she'd wear pretty gold eyeshadow. Anyway, <laughs> this is getting into. This is what I do whenever I do redesigns like these. I always like get into like my, my little head cannons about all the characters because that really helps. Like when you're redesigning a character, it really helps like thinking of who they are. Uh, and what I've done is I've like I try to take who they are like off of the wiki, the fandom wiki, and then I try to elaborate on that so I can really make something that like is a character. I made her just very girly, very preppy, very. Like, to me, she looks on trend. And then her little picture of what she was like or when she was like monster born or whatever i made the sarcophagus because that just made the most sense to me i looked up some sarcophaguses if you guys fun fact white people <laughs> europeans used to eat mummies that's why there's not very many mummies left is because the europeans would eat them yeah and they called other people savages <laughs> okay i had a lot of fun with these i'm not even gonna lie I, I had such a fun time doing these, coloring these and thinking about them as characters because I'm seeing, okay, it's not Halloween time yet, but I keep on seeing like all the Halloween decorations come up. I went to Walmart today and Walmart has Halloween pajamas out and I want to buy myself a button up purple black cat shirt. I have a black cat. When you get a black cat, it kind of comes becomes a part of your personality. Same thing when you get ferrets, because I have two ferrets. They become a part of your personality. They might show up in a video one day. I kind of want to... Maybe I'll get a, a picture of them that's not blurry at some point in my life. <laughs> but their names are Vesper and Calypso. They're very fun, but they become a part of your personality. <laughs> you get them. Same thing with black cats. <laughs> Ever since I've had Violet, she's become... Every time I see a black cat, I'm like, Yoink, that's mine now. So it's very fun thinking about like, the little quirks and the, like in their what would be in their personalities, at least to me, like who they would be as people. Like same thing with Claudine. I don't think she would be like Claudine. I don't think she would be like the most like like I, I think Cleo would be like a skincare makeup girly. But I also think that I don't think that Claudine would be as crazy about that stuff. I think she'd just have like, a little bit wear a little bit of mascara and lipstick because she's more focused on like the actual articles of clothing in fashion, like to be a fashion designer and less about the makeup. And I think Cleo would be more of like a makeup girl. If th that makes sense. I also think she when the tinsel falls out of her hair, Cleo retinsels it. Yeah. I also Yeah. I, I had a fun time with with doing these. And, like thinking about them as people i also like to think that because claudine is a werewolf she's super she's like, super tall like she's taller than draculaura even though draculaura is wearing those like six inch platforms same thing with frankie i like to think that she's taller just because she's like stitched or they're taller wrong fuck i'm so sorry 
wrong they're wrong like they're taller like claudine i'm sorry i get the, whenever i it's hard to switch genders or switch pronouns when yeah anyway i like to think they're both taller because claudine's a werewolf and frankie is a, like a stitched together person i like to think that they're also taller because you use different parts of a person and i feel like they'd be bigger but that's just like a me idea but i had a lot of fun doing these i, I might do it again next week because honestly i'm having fun redrawing these monster girls and just it's just been so fun. I want to do more than two. I've just been, I've just been like, I haven't been like crazy wanting to draw. Like I still want to draw, like I'm not art blocked or anything, but like I haven't been like drawing constantly. I think it's cause I was in art fight when I got really tired eventually. It's just responding to people and attacking to people and checking like every other day. I've gotten tired, I got tired so I think it's just me being a little, not like art block completely, but like just tired. But this is still fun. I'm still having fun. So yeah. And then for, I forgot to put the flags. Fuck, I forgot to put the flags for Claudine. I'll, at some point when I'm done with this series, I might post them all on my Discord server um, to get so everyone, so you can get a better look at them. Another thing is if my video looks weird, is because so I found out that people are that there are AI training on videos for speed paints and I don't want that so now there's an AI filter on my videos fortunately that's the world we live in so yeah thank you guys so much for watching I talked way too much for this video and I will see you guys in the next one bye bye